right, so that footage at the beginning there was actually filmed about a month and a half ago. Uh, it's pretty chilly up here in Idaho right now. Uh, this is what it looked like out my front door just a little bit ago today. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to stay inside today and do a, a video here about Glock. Okay. A lot of people love these things. A lot of people hate these things. Okay. It's it's uh, you know it, it's kind of hard to find a, a middle ground. It seems like people either love these or hate these. Um, now I'd like to give you a little overview uh, on these today. Um, there are a million videos out there on Glock. Uh, uh, pretty much, you know, I count it. It's a million exactly. No, I'm just kidding. Um, everybody's done a video on Glock. There's a million of them. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to give an overview of, you know, my opinion and why I decided to get one and why you might want to get one. Why, why did I go with the Glock? Okay, well, I, I wanted something easy. I wanted something that I wasn't going to have to, you know, spend a lot of time maintaining. I wasn't going to have to um, oil the hell out of it, worry about it being dirty. Um, okay, but these are, are very easy to maintain. Uh, they're super simple. Um, they don't rust very easily. Um, you know, you don't have to oil the hell out of them. They're, they're just uh, pretty solid, pretty easy to take care of. A lot of people compare these to AK-47s because they're, you know, so reliable and, you know, they, they just work. Um, yeah, I can see that. Uh, I haven't had any troubles with mine, but really I would, um, I would really compare this to an AR-15 and uh, not because it's black. But uh, AR-15s are very modular, and you can customize an AR-15. You know, there are a million things you can do with an AR-15 uh, to, to make it fit you uh, as the user. And that's pretty much what you can do with Glock. I mean, it, it's still a Glock. You know, you, you can customize it. Uh, you can put, you know, there, there's so many options for these things. Um, I mean, you can get aftermarket barrels, um, you know, steel or tungsten guide rods, uh, stainless steel you know, trigger pins, as you can uh, get different colors and coatings, uh, you can get uh, different magazine floor plates uh, with designs on them, you can uh, get a plate for the back of the slide, uh, you know, custom plates, uh, sights, um, you can get uh, magazine release extensions, uh, extended uh, slide release, you know, I put a slip-on grip on mine, a rubber uh, hogue grip on mine because uh, well, I, I had issues. Uh, I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, you know, and before the safety police get on my case, uh, the magazine is empty. The gun is empty. Okay. Well, you can't see that, but you're gonna have to trust me. Okay. Gun is empty. Empty magazine going back in. Okay. Now, what is great about these? Well, let me tell you what I like about it. Uh, like I said, it's easy. It's totally easy. Break it down, breaks it into a couple of pieces, you clean it, put it back together. Boom, you're good. Um, as I said, you don't have to oil them. Uh, you hardly put any oil on these at all. Uh, you know, I don't suggest putting a gun away dirty, but if you happen to run a couple hundred rounds through this and put it back dirty, uh, it's going to work. It, it's just, you know, they just run. They do. Um, you know, a lot of people bash on them. There's been torture tests. That, you know, people try to prove, oh, they're terrible, they don't work. Well, it depends on what you do to it. I mean, you can jam up any gun in a, a torture test. But, um, you know, these just do generally tend to work pretty well. Um, you know, run dry, run dirty, easy to maintain. Those are all huge pluses for me. So I did a lot of research online at first, and it fit the bill. It fit the bill for what I was looking for, and then I went and tried one out. I actually tried the 23 first, which is the compact model. This is a 22, or a G22, and it's chambered in 40 caliber, 40 Smith & Wesson. Um, I tried the, the 23, the compact version, out first, and when I went to buy it, uh, well, I decided I liked it, and when I went to buy, you know, uh, buy my gun, I actually decided to go with the full size uh, the full size version because I wasn't planning on con you know, carrying concealed um, and, you know, it wasn't really a big issue. They were the same price. So I decided to just, you know, go the full-size version, a little bit longer barrel, a little bit heavier. Uh, 40 Smith & Wesson does snap a little bit, has a little bit of snappy recoil, so the longer, 
uh, barrel and a little bit heavier slide, you know, mitigates that recoil, you know, a little bit, I guess. <laughs> um, so really, you know, that's it. Uh, a lot of people hate the, the grip angle. I don't have an issue with it. Um, I think it's fine. Um, you know, so those are all the positives. Those are things that I really, you know, was looking for uh, in a pistol. Nice and simple. Okay, reliable, has a good reputation. Now, let's talk about things that I don't like. Um, now, as I said, the grip angle is fine. I, I don't have a problem with the grip angle. Okay, it's, it, you know, it's fine for me. Uh, a lot of people do complain about that. But um, being a, a polymer lower, the polymer, or the grip rather, is just polymer. It's molded polymer, and I really did not like the, uh, the texture on it. Um, it really, when I fired the 23, uh, it, it bit into my fingers quite a bit. And, you know, if you want to say I have girly fingers, girly hands, whatever, my buddy that was at the range with me had the same problem. He didn't like it either. He said it was uncomfortable. So I guess maybe we both have girly hands. I don't know. But I really didn't like that. And that's why I put the, the Hogue grip on there. Um, you know, it, it has uh, a nice, nice feel to it. It does make the, the grip a little thicker. Um, it has palm swells, which I like. Um, and a nice texture on the, the outer edges, or the outside rather, but um, some people already complain that the grip is too big, or they don't like the shape of the grip. I haven't had an issue with that. I don't have very large hands. Um, I really just, uh, I didn't like the original texture, so I put the, the, the slip-on grip on there. Um, another thing, I mean, if you're not used to striker fire triggers to begin with, it's going to feel weird to you. So if you're transitioning from a revolver or maybe a 1911, um, a striker fire trigger might feel weird to you. Um, these in particular, they're made of polymer. They're very snappy, kind of clicky. Um, you know, not every striker fire trigger is the same, but Glock in particular has a certain feel to it, and it just really, um, you know, it's different. It's kind of snappy. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Now, another big issue that people have, and I would have to agree, um, is the price. Um, really, Glock, with a Glock you're paying for the name, because uh, there are other handguns of the same quality, or even maybe slightly better quality for less money. Um, you're looking, for something like this, you're looking at probably at least 500 bucks, um, which, you know, for a polymer framed pistol, you know, 500 plus dollars for a base model, uh, is pretty pricey. Um, you are paying for the name, and they are good guns, but uh, that they are pricey. And magazines, it's very common uh, to see magazines for 25 on up to 35 40 dollars. I mean, that's you're paying for the name. Uh, there's nothing special about them. Uh, they're just they're Glock magazines. They're polymer with steel, uh, steel inside. And yeah, 25 35 dollars. I've even seen 40 dollars for for a magazine, which is crazy. But basically, in general, Glock is, you know, they're good to go, they're solid, they're pricey, uh, and they may not fit your hand. Now, that, that brings, <laughs> brings me around to the last point I want to make. Is Glock the best handgun? Do they make the best handgun? Of course not. Everybody's different. Everybody uh, is going to handle a gun differently. Everybody has different needs for their gun, uh, different you know, needs for it to fill, you know, home defense, target shooting, hunting, whatever. Do some research first, see what fits your criteria, and uh, you know, go out and try a few that you think will, will work for you. The best thing that you can do is try out you know, any gun that you're going to use, especially for home defense. Uh, you want to know what you're getting into. So, um, they're, not the, they're not the best, okay? You know, Glock Perfection, you know, I wear the hat. Okay, uh, I got this for free when I, got, when I bought my Glock, okay? I got a little range bag and I got the hat for free. It was a promotional thing. That's why I wear it. It was free. I didn't go out and buy it. I'm not promoting them. Uh, it was a free hat, <laughs> you know? So, um, you know, that being said, no, they're not the best. People will, you know, argue that to the end. They're the best, they're the best, they're the best. That's it. But um, <laughs> I want to know what your opinion is. You know, do you love them? Do you hate them? 
uh, why? Why do you love them? Why do you hate them? You know, leave me some comments. You know, let's talk about it. Uh, there's a ton of new shooters every day getting into guns, and I know that you know this seems like maybe an old topic. Uh, you know, but uh, you know everybody's getting into getting into guns every day, or hopefully a lot of new shooters are. And uh, you know, we need to get this, keep this information going. I like talking. I like learning. Uh, and I like educating people. So, um, you know, give me your feedback. Do you love Glock? Do you hate Glock? And if you hate Glock, what do you like better? As always, uh, thanks to the subscribers. Uh, I really appreciate the support. You guys are awesome. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have more videos coming at you soon. So, uh, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.